Uh, now let's look at the cuff link. Cuff links you don't see that often these days, but if you're working at a corporate event, uh, you know, maybe a black tie event, people are dressed up a little bit smarter, you will often uh, come across these little beauties. They are incredibly easy to steal, uh, and it makes for a lot of fun as well. So first of all, I just want to cover the, the basic technique of how they work, and then we'll move on to, uh, from a practical point of view, how they steal them. The cufflinks we're interested in are the ones with this T-bar shape right here. Uh, it doesn't matter what the design is on the other side uh, of the cufflink, this is irrelevant. The bit we're interested in is this bit here, okay? Uh, they work very simply. All you'd have to do is straighten the bar out, push the whole thing through, and it will pop out the other side into your hand. So this is the mechanism. It's just going to be straightened out and pushed through with your finger. Now, I'm going to ask uh, my assistant here to swap over so we can move around and we'll see it from this side. So if we're going to steal this cuff link, the method that we would use is holding on to the wrist uh, uh, just to keep the whole thing steady. Using the other hand, my thumb is against the back of the cufflink or the face of the cufflink, and I'm going to use my two fingers here. One finger is going to straighten the bar out. I'm going to hold onto the fabric and use my middle finger to push the cufflink through, and it will drop into my hand the other side. So bear with me a second while we pop this back into position, like so. So here's the cufflink. I come up behind, my thumb comes to the back of the cufflink. One of my fingers straightens it out. I'm going to clip the whole thing so it's, you know, I've got hold of the shirt. And with my middle finger, I just push and it drops into my hand. It's an incredibly easy steal to do. From a point of view of misdirection or how you do it, the beauty of this steal is it's so quick. You need very little rationale. Even if it was uh, me uh, asking this gentleman to, 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 uh, to walk with me, you know, moving him around the table, or even bringing him up on the stage, as I take him by the hand and lead him up, this hand comes underneath, straightens the cuff link, and takes it out. It is incredibly smooth and very, very quick indeed. An easy steal. If you wish to, you could obviously uh, accompany this with any magic trick where you're asking them to hold onto an object. Uh, you know, the standard idea of uh, maybe, maybe you've placed a coin in his hand, maybe you've got a shell coin uh, and you've lined it up, you've asked him to squeeze tight, you come underneath, straighten the cuff link out and steal it. Uh, and then you continue with whatever effect you were working on with the hand. Or, as I said, it could be done as you lead him up onto the stage. Now, for some of you watching, you will you might be hypnotists. And if you're a hypnotist, there's a very good and very natural way of stealing both of the, uh, the cufflinks together. This method, of course, doesn't require hypnosis itself. Uh, you can do it, uh, and, and you'll see exactly the technique in a second. Uh, but the beauty of this is if you are a hypnotist, there is something that you'll almost certainly be doing right at the beginning of uh, your interaction, your testing people, which gives you this moment. And it looks a little bit like this. Okay, so this is the method for stealing both cufflinks together. Uh, it has the, 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 the magnetic hands from the hypnosis uh, as its cover. So you meet the, the chap and you say, hold your hands out for me, uh, bring them a little bit closer, if you will, and you steal the cufflinks at the same time as you do this, all right? So the technique is exactly the same as I've shown you already. Instead of using two hands, I'm simply going to use one. And I'll put these cuff, cuff links back on Marco first, and then I'll show you what it looks like with just one hand. So with one hand, I come underneath, I'm just taking hold of the shirt itself, thumb behind the cuff link, uh, finger here just to keep it steady, straighten the bar, push it through into my hand, and I'm just gonna do the technique with both hands at the same time, just as I'm in adjusting the height of his hand. Now, uh, equally, this could be done with maybe the elastic band routine. You could uh, give somebody, you know, make, make fists like this, uh, point your fingers out, hook the elastic bands around, make a tight fist, and as you reach under, you take both cufflinks, you lift the whole thing a little bit higher, 
uh, as you pop, uh, pop the cufflinks out on both sides at the same time, and then you would go back into the elastic band routine. It's a really easy, uh, simple steel, and what's lovely about cufflinks is anybody who's tried to put cufflinks on themselves knows how much of a faff and a pain it is to get them on. So you being able to steal both cufflinks together incredibly quickly, or even just doing it one at a time, seems impossible, it seems miraculous. You will get huge credit for being a master pickpocket, even though the actual technique for stealing these is frighteningly simple. So, enjoy.